Hello and welcome to the Tree View Data Window feature of Power Builder 10, an integral part of the new Power Builder 2017, a way to improve your development productivity. First thing we're going to do is actually run a Tree View control. Let's have a look at this sample application. You can see here that we have a Tree View control loaded with the different departments. And if we hit the plus button, we can see the different employees within that particular department. Let's see how it's actually coded. If we look at the open of the actual window itself, TreeView is actually manually loaded one item at a time with all this code, one for each of the particular departments. If we look at the TreeView control itself and we look at the item populate event, you can see here every time you click on a department, the employees are manually loaded by a data store doing a retrieve and then a loop at the bottom to actually load the information into the actual TreeView. So let's return back to the Power Builder 2017 IDE and we're going to build a tree view data window. We're going to do exactly the same thing. I'm going to use a quick select on the department, picking up the department name. And from the employee, let's take the first name, last name. The next thing that needs to be done is we need to confirm the, the tree view level. What column of information do you want there? I'm just going to drag the department name to this level and then continue on in the wizard. So at the end of the data window wizard, you can see here that we actually have a tree view data window. If I use the right hand mouse button on the preview area and do a retrieve, you can see here we do get the actual departments coming back. And if we hit the plus sign, we can actually see the actual employees and their phone number for that particular department. We just don't have the nice icons that we did before in the native tree view control, but let's fix that. First of all, let's go to the properties of the actual tree view data window. And we'll say here, use tree node icon. You can see that we can now assign a tree node icon file. And I'll do that, for example, by choosing the icon here with the red door. And then for the collapsed one, I'm going to choose the same icon, but with the doors closed. And now if we actually look at the preview below, you can see here when an actual department is expanded, it has red doors. And when it's actually collapse it has the silver doors or they're closed. Now what I'm going to do is fix the actual employee by clicking on the green dot here. I can actually assign a tree icon for that as well. So we'll choose the employee icon. And now if you actually look at it, and I'll expand the preview pane here, it looks exactly like the native tree view control but I have not written any code. So to get more information on the TreeView data window in the new Power Builder 2017 and your free trial of Power Builder 2017 today, please visit www.appion.com. <music>